Hello guys. Good evening, good evening. How you doing? Good evening, teacher. Hello, how you doing? How are you? Mr. Amaya, good evening. Jorge, how you doing? Gracias, Silvia. Espero que se mejore. I really hope you feel better and you get better. So thank you guys. Really nice um, to have you today. Uh, gracias por unirse a la sesión. And I apologize for yesterday's um, session. Unfortunately, um, I was not able to have you know, the electricity back on time. So I couldn't join, but I'm really glad guys that you are here. So I appreciate your time. Mr. Reyes, good evening. Great to great to have you today. How are I'm you? Hello, how are you doing? Everything okay? <coughs> oh, you're sick. Creo que por ahí leí que también Silvia is feeling sick. All right, that's bad, but tienen medical leave? Do you have oh, like, yes. uh, uh, tienen incapacidad or something? Do you have medical leave? I know. No. No, did you? Oh, okay. Well, quizás es viernes, you know, it's uh, Friday. Yes. Probably that's the reason. <laughs> y ya el cuerpo lo resiente, right? So the body kind of resents that part. I think that that would be the one. All right, so, <laughs> but anyways, guys, eh, so I hope you could rest. So espero que hayan descansado un poquito yesterday. Anyways, eh, vamos a, a seguir como parte de las actividades that we had. And uh, something important is, también teníamos un poquito de, um, Teníamos verbos que revisar. We had some verbs to review and, and a lot of different things. Guys, eh, ¿cómo les fue con eso? ¿Ya revisaron los verbos? Did you check them already? Uh, ¿Ya se aprendieron un par? ¿O todavía eh, tienen dificultades con los verbos? How, how do you feel with that part? Ya más o menos se los aprendieron, guys. Los pudieron practicar un poquito. Do you practice, do you practice them? No. Hi, Ivan. Good evening. Gracias por unirse evening, a la sesión. Teacher. Thank you for joining the session. Great to have you. And the... Uh, Ivan, ¿cómo va con los verbos? ¿Ya más o menos se los aprendió? Did you kind of learn them? I don't know, teacher. Uh, más o menos. Me, me cuesta pronunciarlo. Ah, ok. Pero aparte de la pronunciación, eh, ¿ya más o menos se los memorizó? Did you kind of memorize them? ¿Ya los identifica? Do you identify them? Eh, sí, teacher. Un poco. Ok, ok. Well, that's okay. That is what matters, right? Esa es la parte que, que nos interesa, guys, que más o menos ustedes puedan eh, recordarse y sobre todo identificarlos inmediatamente. That, um, no pasa mucho tiempo o no nos quedemos pensando mucho, right? ¿Qué era esto? ¿Qué era esto? Sino que lo identifiquemos. So that is all right. Y lo demás viene con la práctica. Así que no worries, guys. Um, Joel, good evening. How are you? How are you doing? Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Uh, very, very good, teacher. Okay, okay, very nice. That is really good to hear. Already, thank you so thank much you. for that. Okay, so guys, and uh, again, you know, uh, les dejo por ahí eh, la tareita, right? Que revisamos los verbos, that we check verbs and that we memorize, um, tal vez no una lista enorme con los 25 que les compartí, es más que suficiente al momento, right? Later, cada uno de los módulos les va a ir pidiendo like more vocabulary, more vocabulary, pero para que comencemos, we can get started with those. 
and uh, yeah, pretty much that's the thing. And uh, so, uh, el día de ahora, guys, today vamos a cubrir eh, un poquito de simple past, pero vamos a trabajar. We are going to be working with WH questions. So, los días anteriores, the previous days, estuvimos trabajando like yes, no questions, right? Trabajamos, did you? Did you do this? Did you do that? Uh, ¿Tienen preguntas con el pasado? ¿Les quedó alguna duda de cómo armar preguntas in, in past tense? Hi, Ceci. Good evening. ¿Les quedaron dudas, chicos? How to make questions? ¿Cómo hacer preguntas in past? No, teacher. No. Okay, I'm going to take that as a no. Okay, 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 okay. Guys, eh, este es uno de los temas más importantes and uh, I really want to make sure that you get it. So, si tienen dudas, please no, eh, no se queden con ellas. So, ask questions and uh, si es necesario repetir el tema, no problem, we can go and repeat it, the topic, right? Again, o lo podemos... Eh, tener un poco más de práctica or if you have any suggestion or something, siéntase la libertad de mencionarlo, right? Para poder mejorar and the, that we can improve as well. All right, guys. So let's get started today. Vamos a revisar un poquito de past eh, practice, right? Questions and uh, especially no solamente de yes, no, sino ahora sí ya vamos a pedir información. We're going to go over and ask for information. So we're going to get started with the material we have. Allow me one moment. And uh, let's go ahead and start with that conversation. This is page number 31 in your material. And this one says, uh, vamos a trabajar un poquito con experiences ahora. So we are going to share experiences, ideas. And the objective says, know which processes someone provided or not to a customer. I know that uh, we are struggling, todavía estamos trabajando con el lenguaje, but uh, podemos intentar dar opiniones uh, sin complicarnos that much, right? La idea no es hacer del lenguaje something too complicated. So look at the following conversation. Uh, a person is talking about his or her experience, right? And ya empieza a dar opiniones. And if you take a look, la mayoría de uh, palabras están resaltadas con didn't, right? Cosas que él, ella o él no hizo in this case. Let me read it. Y luego ustedes me ayudan a practicarla, right? So number one says, Luz, can you tell me more about your experience? Eva says, it wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send me a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me, right? So thank you, Maynard. Okay, so guys, really quick. Um, la experiencia de este customer fue buena o fue mala? What do you think? El cliente estaba feliz con el trato que recibió. Do you think the person was happy? According to what, I, what it says. Uh, Joel, what do you think? Uh, Ceci, what do you think, guys? Was the person happy with the service? 
¿De qué se trata la conversación, guys? What is the conversation about? ¿Qué está pasando? What is going on here? Hello, Miss. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, I'm glad. Glad to hear that. Y aparte que ya es viernes, guys. So. <laughs> that has to be good. Okay. Um, so, guys, ayúdennos con la conversación. Um, Okay. ¿La persona tuvo una buena o mala experiencia? What do you think? Um, quiero ver. <laughs> mm -hmm. Take your time, that's okay. Una... Tuve una mala experiencia. Bad experience? Okay. Why? Why was it? Yes, it was a bad experience, yes. Hi, Cesar, good evening. Okay, guys. ¿Alguien le quiere ayudar? ¿Por qué fue una mala experiencia? Why was it a bad experience? Ivane, Carlos. Cesar, Ivonne, Jorge, any idea? Why was it a bad experience? Porque no le dieron una información. Okay. O no le confirmaron yes. el número. Okay, yes, no le dieron información, no le confirmaron, no le dieron el número de confirmación. También. Mm -hmm. That's right, that's right. Okay. No fue amable. No fue amable. Yes, very good. That's a very important thing. Okay, guys, ¿alguna vez han tenido una mala experiencia con un producto? Have you ever yeah. had a bad experience? Yes. Con yeah. qué? What was it? Con claro. Oh, okay. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I, yeah, okay. Why? Pero wait. Uh, con el servicio o con la atención eh, del servicio al cliente? ¿Cuál de los dos? ¿O con los dos? Con las dos porque a veces le cortan la llamada a uno y lo dejan hablando. <ríe> ok. Cuando se, le, cuando se le dice la verdad. <ríe> oh, ok. Ok. So, only claro. Yes, my, my struggle is with Banco Agricola, guys. I don't like Agricola. They're, it's a really bad service. Se roba los fondos. Okay. <laughs> Joel says with Tigo. Okay, okay. Any other, guys? Hay alguna experiencia, tal vez no de llamadas, you know, but face to face de algún lugar que hayan recibido un mal servicio? O que ustedes hayan dejado eh, en el buzón, you know, like recommendations or you have written something. In a restaurant, in a fast uh, food place. It's a restaurant. What, where? Yes, teacher. ¿A dónde iban? Where? Um, o donde usted trabaja, yes. where you work. I, I don't know. No, teacher. Eh, fue como en el parte de, de, del área de San Salvador. Fui a un restaurante y, y la chava, bueno, una muchacha no quería ni atender. Me dijo que no, que estaba ocupado, que no sé qué. Y bueno, realmente fue una mala experiencia. Oh. Era, uh -huh. Ok. So, but se quedó. Did you stay? Or usted se fue? Did you go? Did you go away? Did you go, teacher? <laughs> so you go away. Usted se fue. You yes. went away. Okay. Oh, okay. That's really bad. Guys, what about the rest? You know, yo he escuchado, I have heard, nunca me ha sucedido, but I have heard really bad stories de lugares que van, you know, and the places se encuentran uh maybe so, i don't want to say the word but you can find insects in the food or in the place or on the floors so i don't know alguna vez has tenido este tipo de experiencia have you had that kind of experience
No vale. Nadie tiene una experiencia muy fea with, with food or something. No. Yes, a hair in my foot. Okay, so here. On the pollo campero. Oh, did you say anything about it? Yes, they gave me something uh, for the uh, bad experience. Oh, um, did the they change free food? The yes. food? The, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Did you write a comment or did you post a comment in Facebook or in social network? Nah. Mm. Okay. Nah. So it was a, a okay, a, a hair. All right, all right. And it was not yours. It was not mine. Because oh, I, I have one hair. The, the, uh -huh. the hair, it was inside the chicken. Oh, okay. Because yes. I have also heard, you know, no sé si pasa here in the country, but I've heard that la gente también lleva sus propios cabellos, you know, <laughs> and they put it on the food. So <laughs> I don't know. Um, so, <laughs> no, but that was uh, inside the, the chicken. Yeah, there was no way. There was no way you did it. Okay. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> but si habían escuchado eso, guys, had you heard that part that um some people do that bad practice, like they put something on the on the on the dish on the plate. Or what is the craziest thing you have heard? I think Sylvia wrote something about uh, El caso mencionado en las redes de Avianca. Eh, Silvia, can you tell us more? Hello, Hi, tell us. Hi. Or How are you? Maybe you can tell us about it. Uh -huh. No, teacher, es eh, por, para, es, soy yo o Silvia, ¿A quién, a, ¿a quién se dirige ahorita? Oh, the, no, no, no. The thing is that uh, Silvia, Silvia Inés ah, mencionó that. something uh, on the chat. <laughs> Pero si usted sabe, mis, díganos. <laughs> no, no, por el cuéntanos. She says about yes. sobrepeso de Malé. Ajá. Eh, sí, is the, ¿cómo sería? Noticia. The news, hot news. Is the news is very... Eh, talking in the in the working porque todos estaban hablando de eso ahora en la empresa pues today ajá pero qué ha pasado oh my god me he leído noticias telas bueno the girls is the not not friendly is cómo se great Es, es, ¿cómo se llama? Es ugly. <laughs> mm -hmm. The gear is ugly. Okay. Is, is the repugnante, no sé cómo se dice. Mm, but what do you want to say? I mean, hay muchas palabras para decirlo. We can say disgusting, pero ella o la actitud de ella, like her attitude. La, la actitud de ella. Ajá. Uh -huh. yeah. Repugnante, no sé. Okay. Disgusting, we can say. So her uh, attitude but... was disgusting. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. It's ugly. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's not professional. Okay. It's very... Um, ¿Cómo le digo? <sighs> o sea... Uh -huh. eh, no es... No, not fiably. Friendly. ¿Cómo se Friendly. friendly. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, so she was not friendly. Okay. Mm -hmm. But 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 what what happened? <laughs> she was not friendly. Okay. Le pasamos el contexto. Yeah, pasame la info, guys. I wanna know. What happened, Caesar? Well, Caesar, usted debe de estar en ahí, me imagino. Pues sí, o sea, ma, mira, es que hay que trabajar en Avianca, la verdad, eso de la maleta, la verdad no es nada con lo que se ve todos los días. O sea, este porque lo grabaron. 
Porque oh, o sea, hay cosas, hay cosas que se viven, o sea, diariamente. Yo que estoy acá, literalmente, todos los días, acá en el escenario, peores que eso. Pero en sí, por lo del video, es porque, eh, no sé, la verdad, no sé si es la zafa no sé qué, la cuestión es que es de Avianca. El detalle está que eh, la, le querían cobrar 260 dólares a un pasajero por dos centímetros de sobredimensión. Oh. Y, o sea, bueno, el precio sí es el que, el que cobró Bianca siempre, desde hace más de 10 años, pero el modo en el que le dijo ella, o sea, sí, no era, era poco ético, profesional, o sea, era bien oh. altanero. O sea, la forma en la que ella lo dijo, o sea, literalmente deja mucho que decir. Oh, ok. And, and the girl was recorded, según entiendo, as Silvia said. Pues hasta donde sé, creo. Oh, ok. Hay video, guys. So, chismecito. <laughs> oh, bueno, no about it. I mean, no, no he leído. I have not checked news today, so I didn't know. But Silvia mentioned that todo el mundo está hablando de ellos, so I guess it was kind of hot uh, news, right? Probably. Ok, ok. Lo del is. Los del is. All right. Joel, what do you mean? Cuéntenos, Joel, what, what's going on with Is? Es, es que algunas personas que trabajan en el East también son así, que muy, ¿cómo se llama? Andan, quizás andan muy precisos, o, o me imagino también el mismo estrés del trabajo también. Oh, es que pierdan la humanidad, que, que... A veces digo que es comprensible, ¿verdad? Pero también deberían de de ser un poquito, porque hay personas que son la, más que trabajan en atención del cliente deberían de ser un poco más amigables ¿verdad? Ok, yeah, I totally get that So, yeah, we can say like they have a bad attitude podemos utilizar esa expresión en English right, para describir parte de la experiencia that we have had and yes, you're right so sometimes we receive a bad service, yeah, or bad treatment, que es como lo, lo más feo, right? Okay, thank you guys. Thank you for sharing that. So, treatment es como la forma como nos tratan, the way people treat us. Okay, take a look. Let's go back to this part. Let's go back to this conversation. And here we have some vocabulary like receipt, actually, fine, apologies, easy, inconsiderate. Um, guys, las palabras que están en red, ¿las reconocen? Do you know their meaning? ¿Saben qué significa? What is the meaning of receipt? Recibo. Okay, exactly, right? Like a ticket, like a piece of paper. So that is the receipt. Uh, we have actually, what is actually? En realidad. Yes, very good, very good. Now, eh, es bastante confundible sometimes la palabra actually con actualmente. Be careful, actually no es actualmente, eh, but as Mr. Amaya said, es en realidad, right? Or también podemos utilizar actually como la palabra en español de hecho. So como cuando queremos dar información o aclarar. If you take a look, the person says, um, do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, como para agregar o aclarar, right? I think he didn't say his name. So actually, no es actualmente. Just to have uh, this part clear. He wasn't kind, right? No fue amable, as you said. The, the attitude was disgusting. My apologies, guys. What is the meaning of apologies? Mis disculpas. Mis disculpas, exactly. So we can use hay dos pronunciaciones para esta palabra. Ay, perdón. So my apologies for this. So um, I'm gonna write them down. La primera es apologize. Lo pronuncio apologize. Apolo. Ya is, lo voy a escribir entre paréntesis para dejárselo sin de chat. Apologize. Because este es el verbo. I apologize. Yo me disculpo. Pero si digo my apologies, 
es como, ah, oh, por favor, tenga mis disculpas. Oh, my apologies for that, right? Entonces la pronunciación va a cambiar. Apollo, geez. So I'm going to write it in the chat just for you to go back. So we have, a, I apologize, pero esta palabra que tenemos dice apologies. So para que no lo confundamos, right? Then we have, oh, it wasn't easy and he was so considerate. Fácil. Those are the words we have, right? So tenemos fácil, easy, y tenemos considerate, que sería? What is the meaning of considerate? Considerado. Considerado, exactly. Alguien que me ayuda, right? Alguien que me entiende. So guys, repitan conmigo, repeat with me, and then practicamos la conversación. So we have a receipt. 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 Receipt.
will stay here. Uh, Jonathan, que se acá, porfa, stay here. And Ceci, que es aquí. Stay here too. Los okay. demás guys les va a quedar por ahí la invitación. So, let's sí, Pero go. me cayó la invitación. Sí, uh, no le ponga atención. <laughs> yeah, de le join later. Sí le va a caer, but no worries. De le join later. Ok, guys, so la mayoría estamos en pareja para que puedan practicar. Uh, this is page uh, number 32. Ya les comparto la pantalla. I'm going to share my screen. There you go. Teacher, yo me iba a quedar acá, vea. Usted me dice, Silvia, si tiene problemas con la conexión, sí se puede quedar por acá. Ah, vaya, no hay problema. Sí, porque yo voy ahorita, estoy en una media reunión, pero me ah, he escapado okay. a un costado. Y por eso estoy escuchando la, la, la clase. Oh, no, entonces quédese acá, quédese acá. No, no se vaya, no worries. And, y se puede participar o practicar con estos chicos mientras usted está libre. That's okay, no problem. Oh, vaya, perfecto. Ok. Ok, guys, so this is the conversation we are going to practice, right? And uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I have Ceci, I have Silvia, mientras, you know, for a part of minutos, I hope. We have yes. Joel, uh, Jonathan, is that with nosotros? Are you with us here? Okay, perfect. So we do have Jonathan and Jorge. Are you working? No, teacher, I am problem to internet connection. Oh, okay, okay, that's all right, no problem. Thank you, thank you for reporting that. All right, so mientras eh, Minor and Jorge, um, uh -huh. you know, solve their issue. Uh, guys, empezamos a practicar. Let's get started practicing. And okay. uh, vamos a hacerlo slowly, right? Me interesa ahorita uh -huh. que lo pronunciamos adecuadamente, que ustedes yeah, entiendan okay. qué están diciendo, right? De qué están hablando. And then, eh, cuando ya estemos listos, vamos a empezar a trabajar con fluidez para que suene más natural. But at the moment, let's go slowly. Vamos despacio, guys, para que lo pronunciemos all right. So, okay, so Silvia, mientras está libre, <ríe> mientras, ya, ya que está escapada ahorita, so, usamos a... I see, yeah. yes, sir. Yeah, Silvia, Jonathan, maybe we can start it, uh, we can get it started with you, right? So you can be oh. the first. I am loose, teacher. You can be loose, Jonathan. You yeah. can be Eva. Y, ah. And guys, ustedes pueden irse revisando la pronunciación, right? Uh, okay. Si hay una palabra que no la sepan, y, pero alguien más la sabe, please, ayúdense. So, okay. Um, it's totally fine. Okay. Sería, can you tell me more about your experience? Experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent did not give me a confirmation number. He did not even send a receipt. No sé cómo se pronuncia eso. Ayúdenme, compañero. Recept, recept, dijo ella. Recept. Recept. Uh -huh. For Con what? Recept, recept. I bought. Uh -huh. But do you remember the agent name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. Ah. He was not kind. Uh, my apologies for that and what about our product? Who yours use, use it? Yes, I call. It was not so easy, but I called another agent uh, again. He was so 
considerate. His name was, Rome, was Romeo and he explained everything. Everything. Everything to me. Sí. To me, exactly. Cambiamos right. los papeles. Sí. <laughs> his name Can was. Can you tell me more? His, his name was Romeo. Can you tell me more? Uh -huh. Sorry. He, uh -huh. His name was Romeo and he explained it, everything uh -huh. to me. Uh -huh. Explain it. Explain it. Acordemos que dijo ella que tenía explain que pronunciar it. letra. Explain it. Explain, no. Explain Ex it. Le, explain. 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 Uh -huh. Ajá, es que no íbamos a pronunciar la, la N, ¿verdad? Explain. 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 Uh -huh. Everything to me. Ah, vaya. Entonces, eh, cambiamos ahora eh, I am Eva. O ah, ah, están otros compañeros. ¿Cuántos compañeros más estamos? Sí. Soy yo. Cecilia. Ah, vaya. vaya. Entonces, ahí tú, ahí están ellos dos. Entonces, ahora ustedes combinan. ¿Con quién? Con. Sería, quiero ver quién más está. Porque yo es Jorge. Yeah. Joel y Minor. Yes. Ah, Minor, 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 Jorge van a estar escuchando, pero Joel sí estaba por acá, dijo. Eh, ah, veamos bye. si le funciona la conexión. Ajá, si, si no, no, hay, si no ahí le ayudo yo. Ajá. Perfect. Eh, guys, very nice job. Solamente como, eh, you know, un par de, de cositas por acá. So, uh -huh. les escribí here, I wrote eh, un par de words que a veces son problemáticas, right? En, por ejemplo, la primera palabra la pronunciamos como experience. Yeah. As, eh, si les cuesta un poquito, acá la pueden leer. Leanla así como está escrita. Experience. ¿Cuál, teacher? Experience. Uh -huh. so, experience. Experience. Uh -huh. Exacto. So, Leanla así tal cual está escrita. Le, le he intentado escribir como se oye casi. So, experience. Right? Experience. Ex experience. Experience. What's your um? So, can you tell me about your experience? Uh -huh. Can you tell me more about experience? Experience. Uh -huh. Experience. 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 Okay. experience. Incluso experience. Este pueden hacerlo más largo. Experience. Experience. So you can make it a little longer. Tell me more about you. Experience. Uh, exp experience. Experience. Uh, experience. Uh -huh. Yes, so mm -hmm. you can read it this experience. way. Experience. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, experience. como gente, normalmente la palabra gente lo pronunciamos mm -hmm. así. Agent. Ah, uh, agent. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the agent. agent. Uh -huh. The agent didn't give me a confirmation. So, agent. Experience. Ah, ¿a, dónde está el, ¿A dónde está el que me acaba de decir, teacher? Uh, el, el que, oh, el de hecho puede ir a mi pantalla. You can go to my screen. Eva? And, uh, yes. De hecho lo menciona varias veces. So you have it here. The agent. Agent. Ah, the uh -huh. agent. Y otra vez the en agent. la parte de luz uh -huh. lo pregunta. Do the you agent. remember the yeah. agent's name? Agent uh -huh. name. Yes. You. There you go. You. Do you remember the agent's yeah. name? Yes. Do you remember yeah. the agent's agent name? Nate. And uh, agent's eh, la palabra, este verbo, el pasado de can, la pronunciamos por lo general como un could. Right? So, mm -hmm. acá. Could you use it? So could, could you use yes, it? I could. Could you use it? Mm -hmm. Yes, I could. Yes, mm -hmm. I could. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, si les cuesta mm -hmm. un poquito, my recommendation siempre es palabras nuevas, guys. Escríbanla como la escuchan, right? Porque es más fácil mm -hmm. después practicarla. It's a little long, definitely yes. easier. Okay, guys. Mm -hmm. Los dejo un momento. Please go ahead and practice. Experience. Experience. Mm -hmm. Eh, vamos, quiero ver con quién iba. No. Ah, va. ¿Quién, ¿Quién va a ser usted? ¿Luz o, o Eva? Luz. Yo, 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 
No, mejor yo soy Luz. <risa> Para esto me fui. Vaya. Can you tell me more about your experience? Experience. It was, it was uh, so nice because uh, the agent did, did me confirmation number he did. And then I have to say for what about receipt, dijo ver. Re receipt. Or re sí, receipt, dijo ver. For no, what? About. About. Uh -huh. Do you remember the agent names? Uh, no, I don't. Agent, uh, agent name. I think he did say his name. He was King. Ah, my apology. My apologies for that. And what about our production? Could could you? Use it, algo así dijo, o me equivoqué. Cool, you cool, use cool, 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 you cool, cool, you use, use it. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, I could. Uh, it was so easy, uh, uh, but uh, call, call another agent again. He was some considered his name was Romeo and he explained and very into me. Ah, eh, compañero, ah, pues, eh, no sé si, si va a cambiar ahorita de, de personalidad, o sea, yo creo Luz, que. Luz voy a hacer. Ajá, ajá, porque sí. yo siento que usted lo pronuncia mejor que. Que nosotros, bueno, que, que mi persona. <risa> va, veamos. ¿Y se va a hacer Sería con. Quiero ver, sería con. Quiero ver. Cecilia, Ceci. Hola. Ok. Con, con usted sería y después. Conmigo, porque no sé quién más está de los compañeros, porque son muy pocos los que eh, están conectados. Mí, yo. Ah, vaya. Ustedes dos. Es que usted puede pronunciar más la, las palabras esas. A mí me cuesta. Ah, ya. Ah, ya. Liz o Eva. Joel. Joel. Ajá, con Joel. Yo, Joel. Sí, con Joel. Joel. Vaya, voy a comenzar yo, Joel, y usted sigue. Ok. Can you tell me more about your experience? Experience. It wasn't, it wasn't so nice because the agent didn't, didn't give me a confirmation number. He, he didn't even send a, a essay for what I book. Do you remember the agent name? No. No, no, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't Kai. My apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy. But I called another agent again. He was so considerate, considerate. His name was Romeo and they explained it every time to me. Otros que quieran participar, compañero. Ahora yo con la otra palabra. <laughs> Porque es que a mí sí me cuestan las la, la más largas. Yo voy a hacer ahora Eva, Ian Eva. Vaya, está bien. Ajá. Okay. O él. Ajá. El... Ajá. Yo, entonces, Ajá. soy Luz o Eva. Sí, sí. Luz. Usted, ¿do sí. you Luz? Ajá. Eh, eh, you Luz. Can you tell me, bo, que, yes, can you tell me, can you tell me more about your ex, experience? I was not tonight because the agent 
didn't give me a confirmation. Number he didn't even send and receipt, receipt, receipt for what I about. Aquí donde está. Do you remember? No, no, sorry, sorry. Eh, no sé si ahí okay. estoy bien. Porque dice it was. Eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia was, was, was not? Así. O was. I was, it was. ¿Cómo se pronuncia ahí? ¿Tú lo, tú lo pronuncias? It was. It was, así. It was. It was, ese, it was. It was no. Ajá, ahí cabal. It wasn't so nice, so, so, so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for had about. Uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, actually, así era, vea. Actually. Actually. Actual, actual, actually. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He was. No, ahí era como era, me acabas de decir esa palabra aquí. He, he wasn't. He wasn't kite. He wasn't kite. Ajá, he wasn't kite. Um, my apologies for that and what about our products could use music? Yes, I could. Is wasn't so easy, but I call it another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo, and he explained it, explained everything to me. Everything to me. Very nice. Kudos. That's really good, guys. Okay, okay. I really like it. It's a very nice improvement. All right, um, guys, so let's take a look at some words that can be kind of problematic. And uh, I think the most common is, so we have, we have them right here. Uh, for example, we have this word, right? Um, let's escribe por acá, experience. So la leemos o la pronunciamos así como está escrita acá, right? So experience, tenemos la palabra agent, que la leemos así. Tenemos food, right? So no pronunciamos en the, the, the L. Hay otra palabra que les haya costado, guys. Is there any other word that was hard for you? Experience, a mí me costó también. It's, eh, ay no, ya se me olvidó. La de Eva is... Was, wasn't? Wasn't, 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 Dijo que agent. ella. Yeah. Correct. No, sí, lo pronunció súper bien. <laughs> so you no, pronounce okay. that. Uh -huh. Okay, so sí. All right, guys. Very nice job with that. Now, revisemos un poquito la parte de unión de sonidos. Hay sonidos sometimes que no vamos a separarlos. We are not going to separate them si queremos sonar naturales, right? For example, give me a. No lo voy a separar. No voy a decir, didn't give me a. Suena bien raro si lo digo así, right? Entonces voy a practicarlo juntito. Guys, practiquémoslo junto. Give me a, give me a. 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 Exactly. No lo separe, no lo corten. No, no like give me a. No lo corten, sino give me a. Give me a. Mm -hmm. give That's me it. A. Eh, give me a confirmation number. Okay. She didn't. La siguiente que vamos a unir es estos dos sonidos. Send a. 
no voy a separarlo. Cena, cena. Even cena or senda, right? Senda receipt. So senda, senda, si lo quieren pronunciar más rápido, pero senda, senda, so that is okay. ¿Qué otro? Let me see. Mm, right here. Creo que esto nos costó un poquito lo que escuché, right? Que es use y luego it. Tenemos yes. que portarlo, right? So, and what about our product? Could you use it? Pero se oye bien raro, bien cortado cuando digo use it. Entonces, unámoslo, guys. Use it. Use, use it. it. Ah, use it. Use it. So, como you use, use it. it. Use it. Could you use it? Use it. Mm -hmm. Use it. Could you use it? With you use it? So, ya, ya lo hice más corto. Suena más bonito, right? It sounds better en vez de irlo cortando. Entonces, this one es un poquito de, de linking. Vamos uniendo un par de sonidos. Let me see. ¿Cuáles son los otros that are complicated? Um, mm, I think that would be it. So, those are part of the sounds that are the most, uh, the ones we have right here. Okay. It wasn't too easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me. And so, for a reminder, le quitamos la I y le quitamos acá también la e sound. Ellos no tienen sonido. Okay, guys. So, can I have please two volunteers? Can I have two people? Nos pueden ayudar a leerla. Me. Okay, perfect, Mr. Amaya. So you can help us with the first person that is Luz here. And guys, ¿quién quiere leer con Mr. Amaya? Who wants to read? Me. Sandra. Okay, perfect, Sandra. Very nice. So you can help us with Eva. Okay. So, Mr. Amaya, cuando esté listo, whenever you're ready. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He was in time. My apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me. Very nice. That was really good. That sounded very nice, guys. All right. There we go. So that's it. Very, very good. Give me one second. So look up your I'm just going to copy this. Y se los dejo en el chat in case you uh, still have some difficulties with those words. All right, guys. So they are talking about experiences, right? And if you take a look, um, Ya estamos haciendo preguntas, eh, estamos mezclando everything, obviously, pero también we are checking un par de preguntas here. So let's go. Oh, what's going on? Wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I opened some tabs by mistake. Okay, there we go. Okay, very good, guys. So, ellos hablan un poquito de las cosas que hicieron, right? Eh, utilizamos didn't para negativas y también utilizamos wasn't. Revisamos un poquito antes de entrar en preguntas esta parte de didn't and wasn't solo para, you know, make sure de, eh, que ya tenemos claro cuándo voy a utilizar didn't, cuándo voy a utilizar wasn't. Uh, for example, guys, um, if I have, I'm going to write an example here. 
through. He was kind. Si quiero decir que una persona no fue amable conmigo, ¿cuál sería el negativo para he was kind? Como digo, él no fue amable o ella no fue amable. Uh -huh. He wasn't. Ah, ok. Entonces, si, él, si utilizo was, el negativo de was es solamente was. Solo le agrego. O si lo quieren ver completo, was not. He was not kind. No le voy a agregar nada más, right? If I say, for example, I was 20 years old. ¿Cuál es el negativo? Como digo, yo no tenía 20 años. So, ¿cuál sería el negativo para esta oración? I wasn't, I wasn't 20 years old. Exactly. Entonces, el negativo de was es wasn't. En el negativo de were, por ejemplo, you were late. ¿Cuál es el negativo de you were late? ¿Cómo digo, tú no viniste tarde? How can I say that? You weren't late. You weren't late. Exactly. So tenemos was y tenemos were. Lo único que hago es agregarle not. You were not late or you weren't late. Es la contracción. Entonces, ¿y el didn't para qué lo uso, guys? When am I going to use didn't? Veamos la siguiente parte. Y si se fijan, esto es el verbo to be. La siguiente palabra no es un verbo. All right. Take a look at this. Uh, she helped me. All right. Um, quiero hablar un poquito de qué fue lo que me pasó en mi última experiencia, right? So, she helped me. Digo que alguien me ayudó. ¿Cuál es el negativo? ¿Cómo digo que ella no me ayudó? He didn't, he didn't help me. Ahora sí voy a utilizar el didn't porque este es un verbo diferente al verbo to be. Yes, so she did not, or she didn't, como ustedes lo prefieran, no hay problema con eso. She didn't, pero como yo tengo didn't, ¿qué va a pasar con el help? So, una de las reglas. Ajá. Yes, one of the rules me dice que yo no necesito ed, no necesito el cambio de verbo cuando es uh, simple past, cuando yo ya lo cambié a didn't, right? Entonces, eso de acá se lo quito. I don't need it. She didn't help me. ¿Cómo sé que es pasado? Porque yo tengo didn't, right? So that is the one. She didn't help me. She helped me. Uh, for example, I say, I found a hair, right? Estamos hablando de experiencias too. Look at this. I found a hair in my fur. In my food. All right, so me encontré un pelo, me encontré un cabello, right, en la comida. ¿Cuál sería el negativo? What would be the negative for this? Sería, I uh, was. Ah, pero, ok, ok, wait, wait, wait. Revisemos por qué was o por qué were. Was significa que ese es el verbo. Was solo le digo no. Pero acá was no está. Uh -huh. El verbo acá es found. Yes? I didn't. I didn't found. I didn't. I didn't. Pero hay un problemita que otra vez yo tengo found. Y yo no puedo dejar verbos en presente cuando esto eh, tenemos didn't. ¿Cuál es el presente de found? Fine. Fine. Entonces voy a cambiar el verbo. I didn't find. Fine. Lo voy a cambiar porque yo tengo didn't. Mm -hmm. ¿Es claro? ¿Es that clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. okay, one more, guys. One more here. Just one more. Imagine that I say, my family, my family went on vacation. So I got this. My family went on vacation. I want to say the opposite. Quiero decir que ellos no se fueron de vacaciones. What is the negative for this? ¿Cómo digo que ellos no se fueron? My family didn't go on vacation. Okay. ¿Puedo utilizar wasn't here? No. 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 Yes, that's a very good point. Este yes. es el verbo go, right? 
no me yeah. permite. Estos verbos no me permiten yeah. usar el wasn't ni el weren't. Mm -hmm. My family, el negativo mm -hmm. de un verbo diferente al verbo to be es con didn't. Y como yo no puedo decir, my family didn't went because this is not correct, I say my family didn't go. My family didn't go on vacation. So guys, I just want you to, to have this part clear, right? Quiero que no se me vayan a confundir with this. Si el verbo es el verbo to be, el solito, eh, baila solo. <laughs> no voy a agregarle nada más, solo not. I was not. She was not. Yo no, estoy, no estaba feliz. I was not very happy with the story beast, right? Um, pero si el verbo es diferente, el verbo to be, yo necesito didn't. Yo no trabajé ayer. I didn't work. Uh, ayer no salí. I didn't go out. Eh, ayer no dormí bien. I didn't sleep well. So, verbos diferentes al be, utilizamos didn't. Guys, preguntas, questions. ¿Está clara esta parte? Or quieren más ejemplos? Do you want more examples? O vamos a la práctica. Do we go to the practice straight? Okay, asumiría que it's clear. Vamos a practicar. Let's go ahead, let's practice. Y en la práctica vemos si hay que revisar, you know, or repetir alguna parte de eso. So take a look at this. In your material, in page number 33, tenemos exactamente esto. Si no es muy claro cómo utilizarlo, les recomiendo que vayan, se den una pasadita por acá y acá exactamente lo tienen. Like they were in online, ellos no estuvieron. We didn't buy a product, right? El verbo nunca se utiliza en pasado. Cuando tenemos didn't. So, take a look at the following. Here we have... Write the sentences using negative in simple past. And we have, I am satisfied with my laptop. Marta writes a letter to her boss. We are so happy with the food service. Pedro and me drive to the company. The principal sends many emails. And the program is too slow. Guys, como hago esto en pasado? How can I make these questions or these statements in this case? This statements in the past. I'll give you five minutes, guys. Let's do it alone. Hagamos los solitos ahorita. Let's do it alone. Y si no, um, you know, we're going to check. Si es mejor trabajarlo en grupo. Como extra info, principal se refiere al, um, al director de una escuela, right? So principal es eh, la persona encargada de la escuela. The principal sends eh, many emails. That's the one. Cinco minutos, guys. Si tienen dudas con alguna, let me know.
Como les está yendo, guys, ya casi, almost, almost. Are you ready? ¿Han tenido dificultades? Are you struggling with any? ¿Les no. está costando alguna? No, none. Not for me, no, but. Okay, very nice. Guys, los demás, ¿cómo van? How you doing there? Fine, teacher. It's a piece of pay. Oh, very nice. That's really good to hear. Okay. ¿Ya terminaron? Or do you need more time? I finished. You finished. Okay. But Uh, guys, los demás ya terminaron. Did you finish too? Teacher, solo para finalizar, quiero ver si, si está bien lo que hice. En la primera, como no es un verbo o satisfet es verbo. Uh, no, el verbo es el verbo to be. So yo usted tiene que I am. I didn't. I didn't. Write my. Mm, I creo que está en la dos, ¿verdad? I think you are in la number la uno, two. En la, en la uno, teacher. Sí, sí, no, solo que en la una me queda, me queda esa duda porque dice que cuando no son verbos eh, sería I was, I wasn't satisfied with my laptop. Mm -hmm. That is right. Yes, Ajá. that's the one. Porque cuando Sir. lleva verbo, cuando lleva el verbo, como se en la voz, que es Marta, right, mm -hmm. ahí es, es el verbo, right, es escribir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's entonces, right. Entonces, eso sí se puede decir. Marta eh, sería, he, she didn't, uh -huh. she didn't write a letter to her boss. Yes, Ahí that is right. Like, yes, oh. very good. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. Exactly. <laughs> so guys, number one is I was not satisfied with my laptop. Remember, si lo tienen, I wasn't. No hay ningún problema. We are good. Number two, as Silvia said, Marta writes a letter to her boss. Voy a hacerlo más corto. So she didn't write, so she didn't write a letter, a letter to her boss, right? No le puedo poner eh, wrote, porque acabamos de decir que didn't no me permite escribir pasados, right? I cannot write didn't con pasados. Number three, guys, que nos ayude con la tercera? Who wants to help with three? We are so happy with the food service. We weren't mm -hmm. so happy with the full service. Very good. We weren't so happy, right? We weren't so happy with the food. So with the food service. Okay, very nice. There we go. Number four, Pedro and me drive to the company. Guys, can me that with four? Drive. Mm -hmm. So Pedro and I. Pedro, Pedro me wasn't and me. drive to the company. Pedro and me. Okay. Mm, solo que vamos a hacer un pequeño cambio. Está super bien, pero solo una palabra. Vamos a cambiar. We're going to change one word. So tenemos drive. You can. Estoy escribiendo. My goodness. Okay. Drive to the company. Pero tenemos el verbo ride, eh, drive, sir. Eh, ¿Cuál sería el pasado de drive si lo quiero hacer negativo? Drove. Ok. El pasado sí es drove, pero si fuera That's esto negativo, wasn't or weren't. ¿Cuál de los dos puedo utilizar? Or didn't. 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 Didn't drive to the company. Didn't drive. Yes, very good. Sería diren porque yo tengo el verbo drive. Exactly, just like that, right? Uh, number five, the principal sends many emails. So I'm going to say he again. So he 
Wasn't didn't wearing... Didn't send. Okay. Didn't, didn't send. send. Didn't send. Necesito la S. Do I need the same mm -hmm. S? No. 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 No, necesito nada más. Very good. He didn't send many emails. Excellent. Hey, la última, guys, number six. Alguien me ayuda con la six. The program is too slow. The program wasn't too slow. Exactly. So the program was or was not too slow. And there we go. Y esa es la parte negativa. That is the negative one. Okay, guys, la tienen más o menos cerca. Do you have a light test? ¿Tienen alguna duda con esto? ¿Les costó alguna? Or hay una que todavía you don't get why. Hay alguna que todavía no entiendan por qué funciona así. Eh, yo tengo una duda. Día, José. Eh, eh, el wearing no, 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 no me queda todavía claro como que. ¿Cómo funciona? Ajá, el wearing. Ok, so, no problem. Let's go ahead and check it. So, decíamos por acá, voy a quitar esta parte de acá, I'm going to eliminate it. So, in English, eh, el verbo, okay, wait, vamos a comenzar desde el very beginning. Very be en presente tiene tres formas, right? Am, is, and are. If I am tall, she is beautiful, we are classmates. El verbo in past, Cambia dos formas. So, esos son was and were. Now, eh, si yo digo, por ejemplo, I was at home, es como yo estuve en casa, right? Eh, she was my friend. Or ahora ya no lo es. She was my friend. Now, ¿en qué utilizaríamos where? What do you think? Guys, ayúdenme con ejemplos con where. We are here. You and you, they, mm -hmm. y where. Okay, yes, exactly. Para you y para plurales, right? You were, tú eres, well, se convierte en tú eras. O tú estás, se convierte en tú estabas. O en nuestro salvadoreño, vos, right? So, you were. Eh, por ejemplo, le quiero decir a alguien. Tú veniste tarde. You were late today, right? So, ¿cuándo voy a utilizar el wearing entonces para hacerlo negativo? Si alguien yo le digo, tú veniste tarde, right? You were late. ¿Cuál sería el negativo si este es el verbo to be? Oh, solamente le voy a agregar el not para hacerlo negativo. Se convierte en you were not late or you were in late. So, si le digo, por ejemplo, I was at home, ¿cómo lo hago negativo? Solo le agrego el, el not. I was not at home. So, el verbo to be, guys, es bien caprichoso. Eh, no necesita compañeros, no necesita ayuda. Eh, solamente al agregarle not, usted ya lo hace negativo. I was, I was, I was not. You were, you were not. Entonces, el famoso weren es solamente esto, agregarle not. Al verbo to be. No sé si lo confundo más, Joel. Sí, está claro. El que tenía la duda cuando dice Pedro y, y mí, ahí había puesto where en Pedro. Ah, ok. Porque bueno, veamos, veamos esa parte. So, Pedro en mí. Pedro en mí. Y decía drive. Ok, vamos a dejarlos aquí. Eh, ¿Por qué no puedo utilizar where in? Why? Y wouldn't be possible. Porque les comento que el verbo to be es caprichoso. Es autosuficiente. No necesita de nadie más. Entonces, usted puede utilizar weren't, pero cuando no hay otro verbo. So, por ejemplo, Pedro and I, Pedro y yo, no estábamos en la casa. O no éramos amigos. O no nos llevábamos bien, right? So, Pedro and, um, and me weren't friends in the past. So, si no hay otro verbo, usted perfectamente puede utilizar weren sin problema. Pero como teníamos el verbo drive, entonces, ah, drive no me va a permitir utilizar weren. Esta combinación no se puede. Entonces, por eso es que utilizamos dire, right? Para decir, Pedro en mí, o Pedro en I, didn't drive. Nosotros no manejamos. Hoy sí, es clear. Hoy sí. 
Perfect. Thank Guys, alguien más? Anybody else? I mean, vamos a ir practicando all these things, right? Because uh, I know that it's a big struggle. Preguntas, do you have any question? No question, teacher. No questions? Okay. Let's go ahead and let's read a little bit then. So I have a little situation here and it says, the simple past reading gives you examples of past. Read the story and answer the question. So guys, I have some uh, questions for you and I have a very small story here. Veamos si podemos comprender this story. It says, yesterday, Debbie had a job interview. Pueden ir tomando notas, you can take notes, or let me know si hay vocabulario that you don't understand. Um, Silvia Estela, me ayuda a leer el, el blue one, please, the blue uh, chart. Vaya, yes. Yesterday, baby had a job interview. She went uh, downtown to the company, the interview. Eh, sería was, was for a county a county Joe eh, baby Debbie? no ahí sería baby Debbie Debbie eh, gra graduated gratu graduated university three months ago all right thank you so much so guys there we go um really quick Cuéntenme de qué se trataba. What was it about? About Debbie, that mm -hmm. it was an uh, interview in the downtown. Okay. Because she away uh, three months ago and she got, went to the interview for a uh, accounting job. Oh, very nice. Qué buena memoria, Karen. <laughs> that is really good memory. Okay. Okay, that's very good. Let's continue, exactly as Karen said. So she went to the company, right? She went for an interview. Iba a atender una entrevista. Okay, let's continue. Eh, Sandra, please, ayúdame with this one. Her interview was at 10 a.m. She woke up at 7 a.m. And left her house before 8 a.m. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Uh, Jonathan, are you here? Okay, he may not be. Uh, Ivan, está por acá? Are you here, Ivan? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. So, Ivan, ayúdame con el siguiente. Help me read the next. There you go. She. Mm -hmm. Okay. Waited. She couldn't for uh, the, the bus. bus. The bus. But it was little. Late. 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 Mm -hmm. She was very worried. 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 Because she didn't know what to be later. Late. Late for the interview. Interview. Okay. Interview. Very good. Thank, Thank you. you so much. All right. Thank you. So there we have. So she was worried, right? Uh, Joel, ayúdame con la siguiente. Help me read next, please. Okay. Uh, she, how do you? Tried, uh, tried, tried. She tried to phone the company to work the, about her phone. Battery was dead. Dead. Dead, was dead. Mm -hmm. It was dead. All right, very good. So what else, guys? Mr. Uh, Mr. Reyes, ¿está por acá? Are you here? Yes. Perfect. Ayúdeme con el siguiente. Where it was arrived. arrived. Mm -hmm. It was al, al, almost. Almost. Age. Nine. Nine. Uh, A.M. A.M. 
then the was was slow because cherry were man, many other cars the was finally uh, all right uh, at the was Davis so Davis mm -hmm. stop at a nine nine for uh, for uh, forty five. A. M. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Reyes. All right, guys. So look at this one. Les voy a dar 10 segundos para que la lean. So I'll give you 10 seconds to read it. Intenten entenderla. Try to understand it. And then we go for it. So 10 seconds. There we go. Okay, guys. So, ¿de qué se trató? Primero, first, para recapitular un poquito, la primera parte dice que Debbie had an interview and estaba preocupada, right? She was worried porque um, she had to go to the company. Después, ¿qué pasó? What happened then? ¿Qué recuerdan? What do you remember? The routine about Debbie. Okay, the routine, yes. ¿A qué hora se levantó? What time did she get up? She seven. Went seven. 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 Okay. Seven, seven a.m. Okay, seven o'clock. ¿Qué pasó después? What happened? He, he interviewed inter Joey at the at, at ten. Ten o'clock. Okay, so the interview was at ten. Uh huh. But she take the bus she at nine. Okay, so she took she the bus at house nine. At she eight. left her house at eight. Okay. Yeah. Right. ¿Qué pasó con el teléfono? What happened with the phone, guys? The battery, the battery the phone, phone was dead. The battery was dead, exactly. And and at the end, llegó a tiempo? Did she get on time? Did she arrive on time? Yes. Nine forty-five. 9.45 a.m. Very good. Okay, very nice. Now, pregunta. ¿Fueron traduciendo cada, eh, cada pedacito de información que iban viendo? Mm. ¿O solo lo leyeron? No. So, so. So, so. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yes, Juan Antonio? So, so, teacher. Ok, intenten no traducirlo, right? Solo leanlo, intenten entender, vean las palabras que reconocen, pero no lo traduzcan como él se fue. Ajá, try not to, intenten no decirlo en voz alta la traducción para que vayamos, eh, que nuestro cerebro entienda que tiene que pensar en inglés, right? Se <ríe> vamos pedacito a pedacito, right? Ok, next one, we continue. Eh, Juan Antonio, ayúdeme, help me please. Ah, wait, wait. Okay. Debbie ran from the bus start the, to the office building when she entered. Entered. Uh, entered. Enter, entered. Yes. She saw a scene that saying the company was on the 44th. 24th. Floor. 24 mm -hmm. Fluro. All right. Thank you. And Caesar, can you continue, please? Okay. And the elevator, the elevator ride took almost five minutes because many people stopped at different floors. Okay, very good. So guys, quick question. Uh, ¿Qué está pasando? What's going on? <laughs> okay, ya iba tarde. She was at 9.45. Then, ¿qué pasó? What happened? The company was in the 24th floor in the exactly. elevator. It was the elevator? Five minutes because the people uh, stay in different floors. 
Ah, okay, okay, very nice. So she was running, right? Ella iba corriendo, like como nos pasa todos los días, right? <laughs> she was running, it was late, and the elevator took a long time. Okay, let's continue, guys. Teacher, so, teacher, uh, building, building <laughs> se me ha ido, I don't understand. Is, is reunión o compañeros? <laughs> ¿Cuál? Mi? Building. Ah, no, building es el edificio, mis. Ah, building es sí. la instalación, yes. Ah, yeah, 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 la instalación yeah, yeah. física. Sí, uh -huh. sí, tiene razón, gracias. No problem, no problem, we're good. Ok, so let me see. Um, Yvonne está por acá, are you here? I think she's not. Yes, teacher. Yes. Ok, perfect. Ayúdame, please, miss. Help me with the next part. <laughs> When Debbie arrived at reception, it was 9.58. She was in time. I am here to see Mr. Lewis, say Debbie. All right, thank you so much. Mr. Amaya, help me please. The receptionist checked her book and replied, she's not here today. What is your name, please? My name is Debbie Greg Gregson. Sorry, Debbie, but your appointment is tomorrow. Thank you so much. So Debbie <laughs> checked her agenda and it was true. She was there on the wrong day. So, okay, guys, ¿qué pasó? What happened? She was a confused of the date. <laughs> okay, so she was confused. Okay, okay. She Why was hurry for nothing. Okay, she was running for nothing. Okay. ¿Alguna vez les ha pasado, guys? <laughs> yes, yes, teacher. <laughs> what? <laughs> Cuéntenos, tell us. How do you say feel a teacher? A Q? I did a, a queue in a bank, and okay. when I saw the brown of the bank, <laughs> uh, after one hour, uh, I uh, I confused the bank for the following. Oh I my went God. To the bank and I stay in in the vivienda. <laughs> Wow, eso sí me ha pasado. And I so sad. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it happened to me because era un cheque, I think that I had it, I had to change. You see, uh, I confused them too. Oh, okay. Guys, ¿qué más le ¿qué les ha pasado? Have you ever been into this situation that you get the wrong day or the wrong something? ¿O se han preparado para ir a, ir a trabajar en sábado? So, sí, sir, ¿qué le pasó? What happened to you? Eh, solo el trabajo. Y llego tarde. Ah, ok, ok. So you just get late to work. Ok. Ok. But nunca les ha pasado algo así, guys, that you are running y, y al final su cita no es ese día. It's not it's that day or in the hospital, or in the east, or something? No son así de despistados. Silvia, has it happened to you? ¿Le ha pasado alguna vez? Always, Joel said, but, but Joel, cuéntenos que le pasó, what happened to you? Es que no sé decirlo en inglés. Um, no, I guess I, uh -huh. I, I was, but I was, mm -hmm. I was the, um, I remember, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, say it in Spanish. That's okay. ¿Qué le pasó? What uh, happened to you? Es, fíjese que siempre se me, se me olvidaba a veces, bueno, cuando estaba pequeño se me olvidaba llevar las mochilas cuando estudiaba, me recuerdo. <laughs> Se iban solo yeah. con las manos. 
Sí, iba con las manos y hasta me iba a medio camino de la escuela, me regresaba hasta la mochila. <risa> ok, ok. Y también Eso en citas a veces en, en las clínicas. Okay. También eh, me adelantaba a veces en citas o se me, había, se me olvidaban las fechas cuando era. Ok. Siempre he sido okay. un poco olvidado. <risa> Oh, ok, pero lo de la mochila sí es la... Ok. Ok, eso es muy interesante. Ok, ok. Guys, do you have another story to tell us? ¿Les ha pasado alguna vez algo así? ¿Han olvidado la mochila o, I don't know, la cartera, guys, o algo muy importante as Joel? Nada tan importante, nada tiene. Súper importante. Solo el batch de mi empresa. Ah, ok. Oh, that happens. That definitely happens. Ok. Ok. That's, thank you for that, guys. Yes? Pero ahí que escuché, escuchar a alguien. Ok, guys. Take a look at the following. Ya, eh, almost, almost done, guys. Here we have like two more stories y luego ustedes nos intentan contar un poquito de sus experiencias en inglés. Look at this. Tenemos Rip Mrs. Mendoza and Mr. Torres describe their experience with two different companies. So let me see. No, uh, let you. So we can have. Ceci, ¿ya está por acá? ¿Ya regresó? Are you back? Okay, uh, Karen, ayúdame a leer Mrs. Mendoza, please. Okay, Mrs. Mendoza. I had a problem with the payroll system, but a technician came to help with came to help me with it. Mm -hmm. He solved it, but he didn't say anything. He even changed charge charge, charge me? for a piece he broke. He gave me a copy of the report. But I didn't understand. Besides all that, I forgot to mention that he came very late. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. So um, this is a problem with the payroll system. Si alguien trabaja con planillas, that is the situation. That is called payroll, right? And uh, look at this. What was the problem, guys? What was the problem in this situation? The problem is a technician. Okay, the technician. What happened with the technician? Technician. ¿Qué pasó con él? What happened with him? He forgot uh, that he come late. Okay, okay, so he came late, it says he came very late. All right, so el técnico llegó bien tarde. ¿Qué más pasó con él? What happened with that? Hubo un problema like super big con el técnico. What was the problem? He solved the the payroll system, but mm -hmm. he didn't say anything. Okay. About so, all right. He didn't say anything, but había algo más. There is something else. And he broke some piece or something like exactly, that. Exactly, sir. He broke it. Uh, guys, ¿saben el significado de charge? No, teacher. Okay, so charge is when usted cobra, right? So look at it. It says he even charged me for a piece he broke. In other words, el técnico fue, quebró algo y le cobró por eso que él quebró. <laughs> so he even charged me for a piece he broke, right? Oh, he's like a really bad technician. Well, pero lo solucionó. So that was the, the thing, right? Uh, ¿Lo contratarían ustedes nuevamente? Would you uh, like contract this person, hire this person again? No, teacher. No, teacher. You wouldn't? Maybe work all the, all the computer. 
Yes, yeah, so maybe something bad can happen. All right, all right. Let's go with the next one. Mr. Torres, there we have. So, uh, uh, Jonathan, está por acá. are you here? I haven't heard him. Yes, teacher. Perfect. So, Jonathan, ayúdame con Mr. Torres, please. Help me read it. I had a problem with the cards and gained. So I called for assistance. The mechanic was really kind. Kind. Mm -hmm. He was there really fast okay. and he was quick to fix my car problems mm -hmm. too. He gave me gave me the tides about the incident and he gave me a report of it. Mm -hmm. Then I started the engine 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 and everything was perfect. Oh, thank you so much about it. Okay, guys, look at this. Uh, which is a good example? ¿Cuál sería una buena experiencia? Mrs. Mendoza o Mr. Torres? Mr. Torres. Mr. Torres, right? So, what do you think about the mechanic? ¿Creen que fue un buen mecánico? Do you think he was a, a good mechanic? Yes. So, ¿qué hizo bien? What did he do very well? He was fast. Okay. And fit the car and okay. gave details about the incident. Exactly. So look at the two examples. Que diferencia, right? The second one is, uh, oh, and also the mechanic was really kind. So el mecánico fue muy amable. He was very kind when solving the situation. Okay, guys. So tenemos dos ejemplos. Uno positivo, uno negativo, right? Y todos hemos tenido experiencias probablemente buenas, like a very good experience, y experiencias pues no tan agradables, right? Or the same way, ustedes han tenido clientes buenos, clientes malos. So what I want you to do, guys, is right now, I'm going to give you um, like five minutes, because es algo bien cortito. We're going to do something really short, really fast too. Um, I want you to write a short story. Quiero que nos cuenten un poquito de qué les ha pasado, guys. ¿Cuál ha sido? Pueden escoger entre la mejor experiencia, the best experience, con un servicio, with a restaurant, with a person, cuando contratan, I don't know, alguien que les construya, for example, o con un plumber, alguien que les arregle las tuberías. Or a really bad experience. So, puede ser como mecánico when you get your car repaired, or alguna llamada really bad que hayan recibido o que hayan hecho, etc. So, cinco minutos, guys. Stay notes. Eh, pueden escribirlo. And, y luego lo compartimos. Then we share it orally para que podamos practicar a little bit. ¿Cómo lo puedo organizar o pu cómo puedo iniciar my story? Eh, very easy. Puedo utilizar un par de expresiones para hablar de cuando sucedió this incident or this situation. For example, I can say last year. Oh, last year. Last month. Last week. Si es un día específico de la semana, también utilizamos last. El lunes pasado, last Monday, right? Si quiero decir hace cuántos años, yo puedo decir one year ago. Si quiero decir eh, cuatro meses o cinco o seis o siete meses atrás, so puedo también decirlo con el ago, right? Six months ago, hace dos días. Three days ago. So podemos ir modificando, right? Cuando sucedió esto y qué fue lo que les pasó. Eh, Remember, cuando hablamos de experiencias, lo que vamos a hacer es exactamente lo que hemos estado practicando. So, that means, solamente voy a utilizar sujeto 
para no confundirlo, sean que le vayamos dando forma, sujeto, el verbo en pasado, right, y luego el complemento. So, y puedo utilizar esta expresión de tiempo al inicio o al final sin problema. Eh, for example, les voy a contar, oh my God, no tengo a bad service. Last year, Oh, for example, I can say last year I, después de la IVA, siempre el verbo en pasado. So I went to Banco Agricola. And, uh, y luego, siempre cuando continúo, voy a seguir utilizando la misma estructura sujeto, el verbo en pasado y complemento. So the agent was. Very rude. And there you go, right? Podemos irlo contando sin complicarnos la vida, guys. Don't complicate your life so much. E intentemos no utilizar traductor para traducir todo el párrafo. Solamente es para una palabra, una expresión, right? So, tenemos cuatro minutos. We got four minutes. Cortito, guys. Something very, very short. So, ¿qué les pasó? What good or bad service you received? Do those guys questions? Let me know, please.
Como vamos, guys? We have two more minutes. Alrighty, guys. So let's share what you have so far. Oh, you want that? So that's a cute baby. <laughs> oh, it's your niece. Okay. Hi, yeah. baby. Hi. 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 <laughs> so wants to learn English too. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, guys, so what do you have so far? ¿Qué tienen hasta ahorita? ¿Alguien nos quiere contar parte de sus experiencias, guys? Can, uh, do you want to tell us about your experiences? Porque, pero Iván creo que tiene like some ideas there. So, Iván, cuéntanos, tell us about it. Um, okay, uh, last year uh, I tore my bicycle mm -hmm. to be re re reparar, como se dice? Fix or repair. Repair under Jimmy to a uh, good job. No wait, so, wait, so you took your bicycle to be repaired and then? Yes. I think too, I go, job, job, job. Mal trabajo. Good job. And you, no, a bad. And you got a bad job? Mm. So no se la As, repararon? Me hicieron mal trabajo. <laughs> But, me pusieron piezas malas. Ah, vaya, entonces um, agreguemos eso. Uh -huh. so they did a, a bad job. So, ¿qué hicieron? How do you say pusieron piezas malas? Um, oh. Guys, pueden ayudar. You can help. They put a bad pieces or uh, wrong pieces, something like that. Yes, that would work. Yes, but uh, but even cuando dice piezas eh, malas, se refiere como piezas que estaban arruinadas or de mala calidad. Mala calidad. Ah, <laughs> no, okay. No era lo que yo había pedido. <laughs> oh, okay. Pero fue with your bike, con su bicicleta, or with your motorcycle. 
Uh, no, bicicleta. Ah, ok, ok. So, low, low quality, podemos decir like low quality pieces or low quality stock, right? Mm -hmm. So, que son como piezas de muy mala calidad. All okay. right. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. Pago. <clears throat> Did you pay for the service? ¿Usted pagó por el servicio? Did you pay? Uh, yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Y no se quejó. Uh, you didn't complain. Ya no volví. <laughs> You didn't go back. Okay. Yeah. No me gusta es lo que reclamar. nos pasa, right? Uh -huh. That's what normally happens. Tú no les okay. dijo, like, oh, look, I don't like it. Solo lo llevé a otro lado. Okay. 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 Guys, what about you? What about the rest of you? ¿Alguna vez les ha pasado algo similar? Has, have you ever gone through the same situation? O oh, algo súper bueno que les haya pasado. Something really, really nice. Or a place, un lugar que recomienden. A place you recommend. Yes, Joel, dígalo, say it. <laughs> no se lo que, don't, don't keep it to yourself. Uh -huh. En silencio, incómodo. <laughs> I, uh, I recommend the um, taller, ¿cómo no diría? Taller, taller Ruiz. Taller Ruiz. Uh, Where is Taller Ruiz? Uh, he here uh, repairing motorcycle. Is Are they in San Salvador? Yes. Okay. In San Salvador. In Soyapango. Ah, in Soya. Okay. Sobre la carretera, carretera de oro. Ah, but we're talking about. Okay. Okay. So they check motorcycles. Just motorcycles? Uh, yes. Y, y, y al, lo que le pasó al compañero que le pusieron piezas malas. Ahí ven bastantes piezas de, de bicicleta. De, pueden poner de bicicleta también. Oh, okay. Tienen variedad. Ah, all right. Yeah. Sounds good. And the prices? Yeah, sí, yes. So the, ah, the los prices, prices, los precios. Uh -huh. uh, Are they expensive? Eh, eh, no. No. Eh, eh, son, son honestos, la verdad. Son bastante okay. honestos. Eh. <laughs> okay, so they are honest. <laughs> Honestly. Okay, creo que todos hemos tenido varias experiencias, right, with mechanics. Sí, es que, so. es que en los talleres hay que tener cuidado. No okay. Oh, but that's a very nice recommendation. Lástima que creo que nos queda lejitos, you know, it's really far away. But, but sounds good, sounds like a good recommendation. Okay, guys, so, eh, por ahí guarden, y si no lo lograron terminar, if you didn't finish eh, your story, eh, tenganla por ahí guardada que el lunes vamos a escucharlos en um, most of you, right? Eh, para que podamos compartir también cosas positivas o alguna cosa negativa, de, eh, una mala experiencia you have had. So, guys, antes de irnos, solo regálenme confirmación, please, verbal. So, we are finishing on Friday para que ya puedan ir a descansar o, o hacer party. No sé para dónde van, guys. <laughs> so, let me just. Um, get some confirmation. Go to the bed. Go to the bed. Okay. Okay. So all of you, nada, nadie tareas. Okay. So nadie va a ir a hacer party. No. That's okay. No. Okay. Okay. But anyway, all right. Regalé mi confirmación, guys. Yeah. So Mr. Reyes. Presente. Gracias. Que siga mejor, Mr. Reyes. Um, Ceci? Present. Thank you. Caesar? Present. Thanks. Uh, Yvonne? Present. Great. Dalila? Creo que no la vi. Didn't see her. Uh, Ivan? Present. Ivan va a trabajar this weekend? Trabaja los fines de semana? Uh, solo un sábado sí, un sábado no. Este le toca trabajar. Yes. Oh, bueno, que lo disfrutes so enjoy it. Frente I a la playa. Well. Yes, yes, that's the good thing. Pero el calor es lo malo, right? Uh, Very well. good. No. 
Present. Present. Find your stout. Good night. Yeah. Thank you. Hi there. Hey, Jonathan. Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge. Jorge was present there. teacher. Gracias. Juan Antonio. Present. Thank you. Ahora sí, ya lo reconozco, Juan. <laughs> yeah, you don't look different. Uh, Mr. Amaya. Here. Thank you. Uh, the, the Karen. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Maynor. Maynor estaba en el trabajo. I got Sandra. Present. Thank you. Silvia Estela. Present teacher. And Silvia Ines. Gracias, girls. Espero que mejoren too. Hope you're feeling much better. All right, guys. So thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for joining. Guys, I hope eh, to see you on Monday, right? Please no se les olvide completar la um, sección número tres, section number three. Si alguien tiene dificultades con el acceso, let me know para que all los compañeros de soporte le den seguimiento, right? Thank you, guys. Have an amazing night. Que descansen. See you on Monday. Bye bye, guys. Thank you. See you. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice weekend. Bye bye. Have a nice weekend. Good night, teacher. Bye bye. Sleep well, guys. Bye bye. Teacher, may I help you? Uh, tell me, Jorge. Oh, yes, of course. What do you need help with? Tarea number nineteen. Mm, yes, yes, of course. I, I don't Give understand. I, I try and mm -hmm. I know Sally. Yo lo intento de todas las maneras. It doesn't work. Wait a second. Solo lo intro acá. Wait a second. Wait a second. La diecinueve, right? Nineteen. Yeah. Ah, ya casi termina. Yeah. And the stop in the 19. Ok. No, pues, solo es la, ya la penúltima. So, almost done. How to use your condition now. Ok. Vaya, se la comparto. Let me share my screen. So, okay. one second. Um, ok. Dígame qué ha intentado hasta ahorita. What do you have? I try to to um sentence uh using past. Okay. Then um, um if 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 uh I wake up late, mm -hmm. is I wife late for work. Okay. No, le, le, le comparto acá rapidito, dame un segundo. Eh, el tema de la, no me ayudó hasta ahí, ¿verdad? pero le adelanto. So, el tema de 19 se refiere a zero conditional. Los uh -huh. condicionales me ayudan para hablar de como condiciones precisamente, right? Okay. Si esto pasa, eh, ¿qué es lo que se espera? ¿Cuál es el resultado que va a suceder? Normalmente el condicional número eh, uno, el que va, no déjeme ver el tema nuevamente, let me check the topic again, porque hay tres condicionales, o well, hay cuatro condicionales en inglés, and uh, este es eh, zero, oh, ok. Va el zero condicional lleva una estructura específica. Normalmente ellos se unen con if, luego va simple present, Luego una coma y luego simple present otra vez. So, en este simple present es como don, doesn't, can, can, más, más. Entonces, eh, vamos a intentar que nuestra oración lleve esta estructura. O a veces, simple present lleva if en medio eh, y lleva otra vez simple present. Es lo mismo, pero le está cambiando el orden. ¿Para qué lo voy a utilizar? Cuando usted dice, por ejemplo... Si yo como mucho, yo me enfermo. A mí me da dolor de estómago. Uh -huh. Para eso me sirve el primer condicional. If I eat a lot, I feel sick. My stomach feels really bad. Eh, si yo me mojo, yo, a mí me da gripe. If I uh -huh. get wet, I feel, or I get the flu. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que vamos a utilizar acá en la oración que tenemos? Well, Vamos a intentar hacer que esta estructura que usted tiene aquí 
vaya junto o vaya siguiendo este patrón que lleve simple present, simple present y que lleve la conexión de if. So, comenzamos con el if, right? Mm -hmm. If. Well, if. Mm -hmm. I. Y tengo el verbo wake up. Como esto es presente, lo, no va a hacer mayores cambios. If I wake up late. Si yo me levanto tarde, ¿qué, qué cree usted que pasa? Y necesito la coma. La, la coma es obligatoria. If uh -huh. I wake, wake up late. Y reviste acá el ejemplo. I. Y tengo el verbo to be. Esto ya no es pasado porque voy a tener que hacerlo en presente. ¿Cuál es el presente ah, del I? I go. I go. Mm, pero tenemos el verbo be. I. I am. Be? Ajá, ok. Uh, I am uh, late wait, for work. work. Ok. Le pongo el puntito y veamos si me deja enviarla here. Let's take a look. Y claro, ah, ah okay. vaya, mire. Entonces, ah. lo que vamos a ir, ir haciendo es eso. Revisemos que primero mm. vaya if, luego simple present y luego simple present. Okay. Esto es presente, y luego una coma y luego otra vez I, simple present. En la número dos, por ejemplo, number two, si usted se fija, la número dos no comienza con if. Uh -huh. El if yeah. está en medio. Pero mm -hmm. es lo mismo, es como esta segunda de acá, la de arribita. Mm -hmm. Dice simple oh, okay. present, if, simple present. Entonces hacemos lo mismo. My son, solo que wow. no se le voy a olvidar acá agregarle tercera persona, porque tenemos burn y es presente simple. My, mm -hmm. if my son burns the food if, if he cooks alone. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Entonces, no le vamos a agregar uh -huh. eh, pasado, sino que todo es en presente. Everything ah, goes okay. in present. Ok. Ok. That is the one. So, la, la primera ya, ya vio cómo va, right? Sí, ya. Yeah. Ok. Perfect. So, let me know. Inténtelo. Intente revisar esto. Solo recuerde ese if, present, present. En, intente completar los ejercicios y me avisa si le funciona. Déjeme ver. Eh, también se puede ir. En el material, in the material, está la ayuda. So, déjeme ver, déjeme revisar rapidito y le doy el número de página para que um, también se guíe, right? Because hay, hay material súper bueno en el manual. So, you can go to... Let me check, let me check. Okay. Let me just check really quick. Um, so, en su material puede utilizar la página. Está en la página. This is page, page, page. La página 44. So, se puede ir a la página 44. And uh, here, eh, tiene como un poquito de la explicación que es el zero conditional y que también oh, se puede okay. utilizar mm -hmm. con when. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y acá están los ejemplos, right? Para que usted también se guíe. What do we, por ejemplo, here. If we have low assets, we have to open up prices. Entonces, está como un poquito el uso del if, del uh -huh. when, que también se puede utilizar. Y más abajo tienen ejercicios. Por lo general, los ejercicios de acá están allá. Ah, okay. so, para que lo practique también. Uh -huh. Okay. There you go. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Me avisa si le funciona. Let me okay. know if it works. Okay. Thank Have you a good night. Bye. You're welcome. Happy Bye. weekend. Okay. Thank you. Cheers.